All right, so today we're talking about story points and how two story points are not necessarily alike. But first, let's start with what story points are. Denise, can you help us out with what story points are? Yeah, in the, you know, we had been talking about Agile and I think that we've kind of mentioned it, but story points are, in my opinion, arbitrary number that you assign to a task that you need to do. Um, so, you know, there's a user story and you need to say about how much effort is this going to be? And the story point itself, in, in my opinion, is very arbitrary. It just kind of has to relate in a big picture as a whole. Now, does that mean when we say like a story point and how long, you know, sometimes, I mean, we're used to seeing things in numbers of hours or maybe minutes or days, like how many days of effort? And are you saying it's different? You just say a story point's a story point and it's not necessarily related to days or some kind of unit of time? I mean, it still is in a unit of time, but like you can say something that takes a day could be one point, right? Um, it is still a unit of time because you, it's just how much is this task going to take, right? How long is this user story going to take? And it ultimately is arbitrary, right? So um, I might decide to use the Fibonacci series versus you might want to do odd numbers, right? Like it, it's just, well, as a team, as a full team, we need to all agree, but in like one project might be different than the other. And just because one project's seven might not be the same seven for another project. So that's why I say it's arbitrary. It's more of like the way that at least I was taught is you take one user story and you say, how long is this gonna take? And you assign it some, some number. And then the next one that you do, you'll say like, is this task, is this user story gonna take more time or less time than the one that we just assigned? So if we assign the earlier one a seven, say this is gonna take more time, let's give it a nine or, you know, like whatever that, that decision is. So um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much why we say it's arbitrary and that's why it's not alike. Well, can I ask you another question uh, when it comes to that? So if it's somewhat arbitrary, isn't it like, isn't assigning some level of effort with a story point somewhat arbitrary for a task you've never done before? For example, it's like, hey, uh, this, the, um, the user story calls for blank, 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 and you're looking at it and you're saying, I've never done that before. Mm -hmm. And so how do, you, how do you assign some unit of work, uh, like a story point to say, oh, well, that's gonna be four, that's gonna be two or whatever it is. How do you do that if you haven't done it before? Um, you, you, you rely on the experts for one, and then you just add some time to it because, um, experts obviously will take <laughs> less time to do the work than somebody who's completely new to it. And if you are familiar with agile or just getting started, you know, that user stories, just because you put the pointage to a user story, doesn't mean that you're going to be the one that actually does the work. And so you have to kind of say on average, how much can somebody do? And that's also why, you know, you, there are slipped, people don't finish their user stories. The, you know, it, it all weighs out over time where some of, them, some of them become easier than you thought, some of them become harder than you thought. Um, but it's all an estimate. So let's just say, if I say, I'm gonna try a task that I've never done before, but I know that you've done it before, so when I'm asked how many story points, I might say four, and then you might say two. So that leaves the person that is thinking of that, right? Uh, the leader of the group might be thinking, well, gee, it, it, it takes four over here, but two over there. I can't universally assign for this known thing. I can't universally assign uh, a story point value right off the bat. I need to ask the person because it's tied to the person. Am I getting that right? No, I mean, what do you mean tied to the person? Like, cause ultimately tied to the you person don't... is in their experience, their experience. Like for example, um, it's just some thing. I'm just going to call it a thing. And I know that, that you have experience with it and you can knock it out in say two story points. You could do it a lot faster than I could because maybe it's my first exposure to it. Mm -hmm. So I've never tried that before. I can count on your expertise and so on and so forth, but I, I maybe have a learning curve before I can actually get the work done. So therefore it's going to take me longer. Because I have four story points, I might take the entire sprint duration to complete that task. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's unique to each individual. And therefore, story points are not created equal. 
In other words, there, you know, the, that one task, let's just call it task A, it's something you've done before, it's going to go a lot faster for you in two story points. And that, therefore, in that sprint duration, you could take on maybe twice as amount of work than I can, only because I've been assigned that in that, because that's something I've never done before, right? So if I haven't done that before, it's going to take me a little bit longer to power through that, which means I'm only going to have that one thing. So then that leader has to make the decision. Do I have somebody who's done it before for two story points, because then I can get more accomplished because you could take on more than two, one task because you can do two things within the sprint duration, if that makes any sense. So in other words, or do you invest into that person and say, well, that person never done it before, but they can get up to speed if they ask Denise or get, you know, be resourceful. I know even if they're resourceful, it's going to take them probably four story points worth for the sprint, but it's worth it because the next time this comes along, now I've got two people that can cruise along at a, at a pretty good pace and take on more than just that one thing for the entire sprint duration, if that makes sense. Well, remember that story, any sense but that? remember yeah. story uh -huh. points gets assigned or story points gets assigned to stories before you even take on any task. So during that sprint, you would probably for, will forget the conversation that somebody gave it a four versus a two, that conversation. And what we did as a team is that we typically, what we did is like each group, of people would go and give the points to all the different stories and if they all match then that's going to be the story like so if all all the team said this story is a five pointer those go then we went in and looked at all of the ones that were different if it is just by one level because it really depends on how you did it if you did a fibonacci series obviously it goes three five seven like if it if a lot of people did a, a seven and some people did a five, which is one level down, we would just give it the higher one. But if there's a big difference, we would actually talk about it and try to figure out what's the best one as a team. So again, when you, it comes time to picking up the task, you're probably going to forget that conversation that person A said it was a lot easier than person B. And again, it all just comes back to it's all going to even out at the end. Sometimes you pick up a story that was given a lot of points and it ended up not taking that long and you're able to finish it early. And then sometimes you take on stories that get, was given a low um, story point and ended up taking longer than you thought. So it all kind of neutralizes at the end. And so that's why I always say it's all relative and it is arbitrary because it's just a guess, right? Like, and ultimately we never know, even if we did use ours instead of just some random Fibonacci series, we are just predicting. It's just an estimate. We won't know until we're actually doing the work. And so it's just a way for you to kind of plan out what's going to happen, right? Like how many times have you created a plan for something, whether that is travel or like your daily task and you end up being like whoops i never got to those things right it's just a plan it's just a way of gauging how much you can do within a certain duration of time yeah yeah it's like it's almost like when you're you're trying to remodel your bathroom or something you know some like home project i'll have it done in a weekend no problem <laughs> 20 trips back to the hardware yep. store later right and then you're, you're probably into the next weekend and so on and so forth so yeah however best intentions you had it's just it just works out sometimes but then you get better and better at estimating mm -hmm. as you go along because then the, the next you know the next time you're going to probably get a little bit closer and so on and so forth so mm -hmm. that's what it sounds like for your point you're trying to make Pretty denise much. thank you so much um i think this is really helpful at least for me, uh, in understanding, because I know when I've been trying to like estimate my work when I join these groups and I'm in the daily stand-up and we're discussing these things, it, 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 uh, it, I feel like it's a little bit of an art form at first, but then I, I start getting better and better at it. Um, I'm hoping that is true for you as well in the audience. Any final thoughts? No, I mean, it, it's story points is a journey. You're not going to get it right right away. And it takes a while for the team to really truly understand how to work with each other and also start estimating, right? Like you learn, hey, last time I gave it this one, it ended up being this this many points in the reality. And so you learn over time and that's really what it's all about. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for joining The Daily Standup and we'll see you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.